ericmothethmother.com with a weekend market analysis for the weekend of November 18th and November 19th, 2017. Let's take a look at markets here. We are coming off the lows of the day. So let's take a look at the charts and again we begin with the big picture. Here we can see for the NASDAQ on the monthly. This is a six year monthly chart. So six years of data. We know that we had a bullish period here for two years while the market held above 69.1 and we've been holding above 69.1 as far as the NASDAQ is concerned for the pretty much all of 2017 which explains why we've had this nice move with only one down month. So the takeaway here is on the monthly as long as we continue holding above 69.1 is the same story. Don't get tired of hearing it because that's just a fact. As long as the market is, si is holding above 69.1, expect markets to be sideways to bullish. And that's why you'll notice the market is really not cracking. Something I pointed out this past week. Take a look at the, at the weekly chart. And we can see that the NASDAQ also on the weekly is holding above 69.1, which is a sign of strength. If you take a look at the daily, a simple line connecting RSI lows came in play this past week and the NASDAQ held. So this line held as of the lows of the week. So no surprise that the market, even with this down day, the market is still acting like it is bullish. So until the NASDAQ can start breaking some of these short term levels, we need a break of these short term levels if the market is to see higher. But right now, we can say that the bulls are, are doing exactly what they need to do, which is find support on this line. So nothing has really broken as far as the markets are concerned. If we take a look at the hourly, this is what I pointed out this week at the lows. And we can see that there was a line connecting the NASDAQ RSI lows. Once we hit this line and the market found support, we are not surprised that the market is stable. At the very least, as far as the NASDAQ is concerned, once we tag that level, market has recovered. And here we are again, recording, if not testing, fresh intraday highs. Having said that, now on a short term basis, we see that the market is coming back to test a prior break level. So this break level here is what gave us the recent pullback. So this break gave us this recent pullback zone. We pull back slightly and now we are coming back to test that same level. So until we move above that level, we can say hour to hour, day to day, that becomes a resistance level. And we can say that the market short term on the, on the hourly for the NASDAQ is showing signs of sideways to down potential. And again, within the construct of a bullish market on a big picture time frame. Take a look at the 30 minute chart for the NASDAQ. And we can see this looks like an improvement in price levels. But the technicals are not following through. In fact, there's a line of resistance connecting RSI top side. So that becomes a reason for this market to struggle to hold current levels here for the NASDAQ at about 6,800 until such a time as the market can move above this line here. So that negative divergence could set the stage for yet another shallow pullback or maybe even the beginning of a major pullback. But this negative divergence that we see right now is what is stalling the market from moving higher right now. And for the market to move higher again one more time, it does need to clear this declining negative divergence line. Oh, and I should have mentioned that I'm going to include some world market analysis for some major world markets towards the end of the video and a brief discussion on Bitcoin and then take a look at two breakout ideas. So take a look at the Dow and keep in mind the Dow monthly continues to hold above 69.1 since late 2016. That's why the market has had a great year in 2017. We take a look at the weekly and the weekly for the Dow, as you can see, also continues to trade well above 69.1, which is a sign of a market that is outright 
bullish and to see evidence of this is take a look at this period here where we traded above 69.1 for a couple of weeks couple of months and the entire process was bullish we did the same thing here to somewhere there and the entire process was bullish yes there were pullbacks in that zone but they were shallow and short-lived so again here on the Dow, uh, Dow weekly as long as we are above 69.1 expect the market to be stable and uh, maybe even outright bullish take a look at this chart for the Dow daily and the Dow daily is and did show support on this line at the lows for the week so connecting the lows here you can see that at the lows for the week we are still above this line in fact we touch this line somewhere here that's why the market recovered so we can also conclude that as long as we are holding above that blue line we can assume that the market continues to be stable as long as this line is holding we can assume that the market continues to be stable also don't forget that we have uniform activity support at the RSI 50 level so as long as the Dow is holding above 50 on its daily chart the market continues to be okay stable if not bullish we can also see that there is a short-term breakout that was being tested this past week based on our uniformity method it's where the market broke out so this movement here began this nice climb and the market went to record a fresh fresh all-time highs multiple fresh all-time highs so we take that information and draw our uniformity support line anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action we know that the market is due to recover so here we at the lows of the week we came to this level we held as long as that held we can assume that the market continues to be stable now if the bears want to break this market they're going to have to crack below that line something we haven't seen yet since we haven't seen a break we can continue expecting a sideways to outright bullish market in the coming days and coming weeks take a look at the Dow hourly and the Dow hourly was coming back to test this level as I discussed with paid subscribers this past week once we hit this level here yesterday or Thursday's move was no surprise because we had already shown support on that line on the hourly for the Dow short term we can see why we are struggling to hold because there's a line connecting the top side so this is where the market is struggling to move above so short term there's resistance don't forget that there's also support so we seem to be stuck in this wedge either at some point we are going to break out and continue this recent multi-year move higher or we break down and we start asking questions of the market Take a look at the Dow 30 minute chart. Keep in mind at the highs we had an improvement in prices, but there was negative divergence. And once we saw that, we were expecting a pullback. We did get that pullback. Now, if you take the same line that gave us negative divergence and extend it like that, you can see at the highs we've hit that level and the market is showing resistance at the highs here of yesterday's trade. So for now we can see short term hour to hour until we move above this line we can assume that hour to hour market is sideways to pointing down yet the big picture remains that the market is still sideways to bullish so you combine the two and what you come up with the expectation that short term yes there's a shallow pullback but it's going to be a shallow and short-lived pullback because the market continues to be stable in the big time frame now we can save time there's no need to take a look at the S&P 500 because the month the weekly looks good it's above 69.1 monthly for the S&P 500 still continues to hold above 69.1 take a look at the daily for the SPX and the daily here we can see a good bounce on the RSI 50 line on the daily that's a sign of a stable market and we can see the wedge that is developing on the hourly for the S&P 500 top side resistance bottom side support so we've seen that over the last 
going into yesterday's afternoon highs market hit that level and now we are pulling back and going into the lows of the week we hit that level and we've moved higher since so at some point here either we are going to break out for continued push higher or we break down and start probing lower prices so we have to wait for that to play out now i mentioned i was going to discuss bitcoin briefly so this is the bitcoin chart pretty much and here the same conclusion as long as bitcoin is holding above 69.1 on its monthly chart expect it to be sideways to outright bullish as long as bitcoin on its weekly chart continues to trade above 69.1 expect bitcoin and pretty much cryptocurrencies as a group to be sideways to outright bullish take a look at the daily you can see the daily continues to be constructive and there's a line connecting recent daily lows so bitcoin should be stable to bullish as long as we are seeing the same chart characteristics here we are seeing that it, it came back to test the daily lows line on the rsi and held and that's why it is still showing momentum so as long as the monthly and the weekly are above 69.1 i would expect bitcoin to continue showing the current strength it's another way of saying that as even with pullbacks in the bitcoins bitcoin currency as long as the rsi remains above 69.1 on the monthly even pullbacks are going to be shallow there, there might be deep corrections but as long as the rsi is above 69.1 we can expect that ultimately it's going to challenge recent highs and even go beyond current highs and maybe even move above 8,000 as long as the RSI on the monthly continues holding above 69.1. Now the rest of the video is for paid subscribers. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Eric Mwadeth, Mwadeth.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings enjoy your weekend i'll keep you guys posted as of the new week when the new week begins otherwise see you guys next week i am out Woo! yeah